Right. Another short drive, another short episode. That's just how it goes. It's Wednesday, actually, July 21st, 2021 of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Your host, Alex. Today's episode is about revenge. Revenge being the sweetest thing next to getting pussy. Or so they say. When what you have to consider is uh, just how you get your revenge, how you get that feeling of satisfaction, how you get that that consolation, because revenge, first of all, requires you getting fucked over first, right? Or at least feeling like you got fucked over, and so you deserve some type of revenge, and uh, the person, whomever you... Uh, want to see down, right, the person whomever you want to see go down, then they suffer. They ought to have uh, first came up and fucked you over in a sense. So there is that requirement where one suffers for the sake of another and then the person who is harmed feels entitled Notice how I said feels. The key word is feels entitled. Not necessarily is entitled, but feels entitled to revenge, to getting back at a motherfucker for having done them dirty, having done them wrong. And I'll be honest, I've been in a, I guess, in a, in a giving and a receiving end of revenge luckily it's never come to uh death right i'm still i'm still here at least (laughs) it's never gotten to the point of uh of uh something drawn out luckily i've been able to take care of you know my business tie up my loose ends and um you know either coach or take care of any witnesses And I mean coach as in like influence, you know, and influence being mitigating any blowback, making sure that the witnesses are on my side, that they saw correctly, (laughs) that they saw correctly how things played out. And that's funny, I, I even say it that way, because I mean, you can't change what a person saw, but you can definitely influence how they perceive things. And that just requires that just requires communication. It requires you being a professional and you approaching them with with maturity as to uh, as to your actions and whether or not they constitute justifiable revenge, whether or not your revenge is justified or not justified. I don't fucking know. You might be running in circles where it just doesn't fucking matter. And, um, and you can be the one to strike first. And your whole team will back you up if some other person chooses to take revenge. Again, I don't know. I do not know. Um, I mean, I've, I've rolled with teams like that where they won't hesitate to start shit in the club. And uh, the rest of their team will pack you out, stomp you out, if you will, jump you, if uh, you turn to fight back. Obviously, there's a l- slightly less honor, so, uh, I mean, you won't find me in clubs often. I'm too, uh, I find that I, I attract the wrong kind of attention, so I don't enjoy being put in the spotlight for no for no other reason than problems. I do not enjoy that in the least. What I have found funny about revenge is that uh ooh, is that feeling that feeling you get having completed it successfully. It really is uh it's a rush. It's a type of rush that not many feel. 
because revenge in itself is a fucking mission. I mean, there are some who let, um, who claim to let bygones be bygones, but in the back of their mind, they're uh, expecting the party who's at fault, the the party against whom they want to have their revenge, they expect them to to get their comeuppance, you know, like they don't want to do it directly, but they also want to see that other motherfucker go down. They 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 want to see them get their comeuppance. They want to see them get knocked down. Why? Because they believe they were done dirty, and uh, the other person is just not righteous. And because of that, they would like to see, without them contributing to, they would like to see a result for that person acting in a manner that is uh, without integrity, without, without righteousness. And even then, that's still considered revenge. Like, you not doing anything, that's, that's still considered revenge. You're just being a bitch about it. <laughs> to an extent, to an extent, you're just being a bitch about it. When you really think about it, if you truly believe that you're in the right, you truly believe that you've been wronged, would it not be justice to go and take care of it yourself? Who can, who can you turn to? Who can you turn to if not God? If not God. And your will to live. Your will to keep going. But you're just going to let this other motherfucker, this evil motherfucker run wild? What the fuck is the point? Sometimes you have to be the sometimes you have to be the messenger. Sometimes you have to be God's messenger. You have to be God's vehicle. There's a saying that uh there is no evil thing out of which good does not come from. AKA blessings in disguise. You have to be that motherfucking blessing in disguise. You must. You must be. Otherwise if you are actively hiding if you actively don't want to uh, take part in the kingdom of heaven <laughs> on earth then you're better off dead you're more than you're 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 better off dead you could be walked all the, you could be walked all over and if you continue staying out of the way and getting out of the way and that motherfucker will one day get his come up and well gee I wonder from who I wonder who will be the one to do it? Shit, as much as I enjoy it, I can't do it for everyone. I can't do it for just anyone because one can't know the context to every problem and every issue and then move to solve them. That's just not, it's not possible. It's just not possible. I mean, it's been said, not not every king did righteous things to hold on to their kingdom. And it's true. It's true. Some kings did some horrible things. Some horrible things to have their name ring through history. I mean, you want to get blasphemous, look at God. That dude even sent his own son, delivered his own son into the hands of evil. Why? Just so, just so good can continue surviving. Just so good can go on living. To set an example. To set a fucking example. And, and we can't take that example up into our own hands instead of staying out of the way like it's already been done before and letting evil be reproduced replicated onto our progeny 
onto our children, delivering our children onto evil. The shit's already been done. We have an example of it. We're either like it or we're better. And that's the example. The example is to be better. Why? Because it's already been done. We've already been shown the way. And still, motherfuckers falter. Still, motherfuckers are scared. Still, motherfuckers don't know how to act, when to act, how to do it. It takes... It takes training. It takes education. It takes awareness. It takes knowledge. It takes the, uh, the, the breaking down of certain taboos. And it's hard in modern society where <laughs> where people believe God is dead. Are you fucking kidding me? God is dead? Come on, bro. Fucking come on, bro. All he did was deliver a model, a model citizen, a model example and have them killed. The rest of us obviously aren't models. The rest of us obviously aren't role models. But we have an example to learn from. We have an example from which we can take the message and incorporate it into our lives. It doesn't have to be the exact message, like I said. <laughs> it could be better. It could be made better. Like every form of media. First we had spoken word. And shit would get lost in translation. Then written word. Now there's multimedia. There's ways to evoke emotion. Evoke information. Through symbols. Through signals. Using the five senses. The six and the seven too. Fuck. But we have an example of what revenge looks like and how not to be a bitch going about it. Because it could be handled. Oh, it could, oh, it could be handled. But the example that's been handed down to us is the exact example of ending the world without doing anything without doing anything you just wait you just stay out of the fucking way <laughs> stay out of the fucking way deliver your cho- deliver your children onto evil and then claim you won or claim you're winning And yeah, evil, because of its corrupt nature, will naturally be the cultivator of its own demise, will naturally bring about its own demise. It's just corruption begets corruption, and and you can only be corrupt for so long until you subvert yourself. Am I right or am I wrong? But if you aren't doing anything about it, I already said you're better off dead. So what, you off yourself or you off your child, deliver your child and what, you you think you won? (laughs) You think, (laughs) you think, you think that's, that's the blueprint? Like that's the model to follow? No, it's just an example. That's the message, it's an example. Whether or not you choose to follow it, it's an example Things that have already been done before continue to be done, but differently. One could say better, one could say worse. That's why evil is ever changing, and yet the good always trail behind. Why 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 do cops chase robbers? How come cops are never out in front of robbers preventing robberies? (laughs) <laughs> why, why the fuck am I mad, yo? <laughs> I'm not even that mad. I'm not, 
I'm not mad at all. I'm like, it's just the tone of my voice took on a demeanor like, like I give a shit, which I don't. I don't fucking give a shit, right? I'm trying to improve and, and better my corner of the world. And in doing so, I'm going to butt up against other people's little worlds, up other people's little corners of the world. And I'm going to make them better, whether they want to or not, right? I'm going to push them. I'm going to force their hand. My hand has been forced until I learned to move with volition, to move voluntarily, to move with nature, to move with natural law. Because it's a pain. It really is. It's a fucking pain having to work, watch everyone else whine. You don't think the shit gets depressing? And I'm not even depressed. What is it? I'm not even depressed normally. It's just hanging around. How do you say? It's like a the cost of living in a society it's the cost of living in a quote unquote a society (laughs) I can't (laughs) and we have uh, we have models that are promoted to us promoted literally promoted evangelized and told that we can't be better that we can't do better that there was but one person And that person is only an example of good. The goal is to be better. Damn. I mean, hung around with murderers and thieves. What, you didn't think a snitch would be at the table? You got caught lacking, son. (laughs) You got... (laughs) Fuck, I'm... I'm on a sick one today, like the youngsters say. Ain't this some fucking shit? Anyways, back to work. 